In this video we're going to examine how to go about applying a filter cutoff envelope in TAL Electro 2. Load up TAL Electro's LD Funky Velocity preset and import the MIDI file filterenv.mid into your project. Turn the LFO1 intensity down to zero so that we can focus our attention on the modulation generated by the filter envelope. Turn your attention to the filter panel and gradually increase the attack to about 12 o'clock. The filter now opens more slowly at the start of the note, causing a wet, squelchy wah sound. By default, the sustain level is at its maximum, so the decay knob won't have much of an effect as there's no lower level for the sound to decay to. To fix this, turn the sustain control to its minimum setting. You can now hear the filter closing down to the new level after completing the attack phase. Now increase the decay to about 12 o'clock. The filter drops down to the sustain level more slowly, resulting in a rounder owl sound. Increase the decay past this and the tone flattens out. Due to the decay time now being much longer than the note length, the note finishes before the sustain level can be reached. Set the decay to 8 o'clock for a very quick shutdown of the filter. Let's examine the release stage. First set attack, decay and sustain to 10 o'clock. And release to 2 o'clock. However, because the amplitude envelope's release is very short, the volume cuts off before we can hear the filter closing. To fix this, in the envelopes panel, set the release knob to 2 o'clock. Now you can hear the filter closing gently during the fade out after the short notes are released. Set the filter envelopes release control to 8 o'clock, so the filter closes before the notes die away. The result is a much duller release tone. Thank you. 